Hi guys, in this video we'll have a look at some of the unique plants that can be found on the Needles Range in southwest Tasmania, the northern part of the southwest region. If you want to know more about this uh, incredible range, the Needles, you can look back at my previous video on my channel and it shows the walk I did uh, to the top of the Needles, which tops out at about 1,049 meters I believe not so high but a uh, very interesting look at the landscape in this area uh, the quartzite rock formations and in this video we will check out the incredible flora that inhabits this region The genus Aversia contains roughly 400 species, with most of them being located in Australia. This particular one, Aversia procumbens, also known as the spreading guinea flower, grows to about 30 centimetres wide, is normally a prostrate mat with leaves linear elliptic in shape. Flowers are a golden yellow colour with five petals and are quite profuse in flowering. This beautiful species can be found in Tasmania from the coast all the way up into subalpine areas at about 1,000 metres. Oh, look over here. We've got uh, Blandfordia in flower. Sensational. Blandfordia punicea, also known as the Tasmanian Christmas bells, is a tussock forming plant with leaves up to a metre long which are thick, finely toothed on the margins and have a prominent midrib quite often reddish in colour as well it has a stout flowering stem to one metre bearing up to 20 bell shaped flowers which are red in colour on the outside and yellow inside this Tasmanian endemic can be found in the western parts of the state Sprengelia incarnata also known as the pink swamp heath it's a very variable shrub, usually found on wet peaty soils. It has leaves which sheath around the stems and then taper to a hard point, very similar to the Rishia foliage. Pink flowers at the ends of the branches make this a very showy plant. Helichrysium pumulum variety spathulatum, also known as the Western Everlasting, it's a herb with rosettes of foliage with the leaves spatulate in shape, one to three centimetres long. They have a grey upper surface and a lighter grey underneath. Flowers are pinkish in bud, opening to white papery inflorescences on a white woolly scape, five to ten centimetres tall. The phylaries around the disc floret are white but can have streaks of pink through them. This plant is endemic to Tasmania and found in the Western Mountains, usually on thin skeletal soils, as can be seen here. Here we can see the white woolly scapes to great effect. Beautiful day at the needles. Tiny plants. So 
Noltonia grassifolia, also known as the mountain anemone. It's a beautiful perennial herb which has leaves in a basal rosette. They are thick and divided into three coarsely toothed leaflets. Flowers are on stems 8 to 20 centimetres tall, white and flowering during summer. This endemic is found in the western mountains at about 1,000 metres. Estelia alpina, variety alpina, commonly called pineapple grass. It's a mat forming perennial with leaves 6 to 40 centimetres in length. They are green or grey green above and grey silvery below. The flowers are usually hidden in between the leaves. This is a widespread plant in Tasmania and is found on just about every mountain. Baronia citriodora, also known as a lemon scented baronia, a small shrub with leaves producing a strong lemon aroma when crushed. Flowers have four petals, white, pink in colour, and this can be found in the central and eastern areas of Tasmania. Isophysis tasmanica, also known as Huaria, or the Tasmanian Purple Star. It's a tufted perennial with erect blue-green leaves arrayed in fans. Flowers are dark purple magenta, terminal and solitary on an erect scape just above the foliage. Some of the needles we'll have a look here. to the orises. That is one cool plant. This incredibly beautiful endemic can be found from sea level on peaty swamps in the southwest up to exposed saddles and rock outcrops of the western central highland to about 1300 metres. Words can hardly describe how beautiful these plants are. Another beautiful species is Dracophyllum milliganii, Milligan's Mountain Heath. It's a shrub 15 to 25 centimetres tall with leaves narrow and up to 15 centimetres in length. The inflorescence is a terminal spike with lots of small flowers, white to pink in colour. This Tasmanian endemic is quite often seen in saddles of the Western Mountains, cohabiting with the beautiful Isophysis Tasmanica. In this video here, you can see it just popping up in a saddle and it's quite prolific. Well that just about wraps up this video so thanks for watching, leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, have a great day, cheers.